For lesson 4.4, we're going to be looking at how to divide and multiply decimals. And as we go through this, you're going to notice that it's really not too different from adding and subtracting decimals. It's all just basic concepts that we already know. So let's take a look at our first problem here. We've got 5.82, and I'm going to multiply that by 0.41. Now the first thing I want to do, just like we did with addition, is put one number on top of the other so I can start working this out. So I'm going to rewrite it now. 5.82 times 0.41. And just like adding and subtracting decimals, I've got to make sure that they are lined up. Now here's the one major difference that's going to help me solve this problem. The decimal is two spaces over from the end here and two spaces over from the end here. So what I want to do is make this easier on myself and the way I make it easier is to just make these regular numbers and get rid of the decimals. So if I want to get rid of this decimal, remember it's one, two places over, so I'm just going to make a little note over here, two places. This one's also two places over, two places. So now I can go ahead and get rid of them, and the decimal is not going to come back until I actually have my answer. And I'm going to put it back in four places because I had to move it two from the top and two from the bottom. So we just add these together, and that's going to tell me how many places to move it over my answer. And we'll see that in a minute after we solve this. So I start off just by solving this problem. One times two is two. One and eight, eight and five. My automatic zero here, four times two, I get an eight here, four times eight, 32, so I put my two here, my three up here, four times five is 20, plus three, we get 23. Now I know that zero times any of these numbers or any number in the world is always gonna be zero, so I don't have to work those out. So now what we wanna do is just add these up here. So zero and two, that's 2. 8 plus 8 gives me 16. 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 1 is 8. And then I keep my 23 because I'm not adding anything to it. Now for the final step, like I told you before, we move the decimal places 2 here and 2 here for a total of 4. So beginning with the end of the number, I'm going to move over 4 places and put my decimal there. So let's count them out. One, two, three, that's the fourth spot. Nice big red decimal right there. So my answer is 